So I wanted to do a really quick get ready with me video and at the same time do sort of like a review on the Kevin Aquan the Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting right here. So we're gonna test that out today. So for primer, I like to use the Too Faced Priming Poreless. I recently just got back Mommy. to using this. Chloe's knocking again. Mommy. Yes? Why? I'm just gonna use a bit of that. Not too much because I do have a normal oily skin, especially in warmer days. So I'm just going to apply that right here because this is where most of my pores are. I don't have like a ton or like a big pores, but it's right around here. I usually get oily around my nose and my forehead here. And then whatever I have left in my hands, I just apply all over. For foundation, since like I said, I have normal to oily skin, um, I tend to get a little bit oily throughout the day, just a little bit, more, mostly in my forehead, especially when it's warmer. But when it's not too warm, um, my, my face usually stays pretty normal. But I'm still going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Most Poreless Normal to Oily um, Foundation, and this one is in shade 220 Natural Beige. And then I'm going to mix that with the Kevin Aucoin Celestial Liquid, Celestial Skin Liquid Lighting. So I'm going to shake this up first, and then for brush, actually, you know what, my lips do feel a bit drier than usual, so I need to sort of moisturize them. I'm using the Mojito Lip Balm Daily Protection, is the Malin, I don't know how to say this, and something. I got it from my Ipsy bag when I was still subscribed. The brush that I'm going to be using is the Real Techniques Stippling Brush. This is one of my favorite foundation brush, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to mix together the foundation and the liquid highlighting, um, or liquid lighting. Okay. Just that much for now. And I'm going to mix just maybe half a drop of this. I usually like to mix it with like a small brush like this and like the back of it and then just mix it together. Okie dokie. So just gonna blend that all over my skin. For some reason I got a bit of tan from um, the warmer days that we got here in Toronto So you can definitely see the glow there. It's so lovely. This is not my first impression by the way I've used this like a couple of times But I haven't really I don't really have any opinions about it yet because I don't Pay too much attention to it. I just wanted to try it first But so far it was working well um, but now I'm really testing it out. So this foundation definitely is matte, but now um I, I look glowy, like it gives me that glowy finish. So if you have oily skin and you know, you don't, obviously you don't want to look too flat, you still want to have a bit of glow on your skin. I think this liquid lighting is perfect for that purpose. I've used this foundation a lot of times and I know how matte, like it dries very matte and flat. So if you have that kind of foundation and you have normal to oily skin, but you still want to add a bit of glow on your face, you know, you can obviously add the highlight powder, like you can obviously use highlight powders, but this one just gives like an all over younger looking glow. Like as you can see, I don't know if you can tell right now, my skin looks quite glowy, but not oily. It's very natural, the finish. So I guess this would be my second layer of this because I still have some products in the back of my skin and I'm just pretty much um, mainly focusing this where most of my imperfections are which are around this area here. It looks really nice so far. I love it. I love the purpose of this 
liquid highlighting where you can just mix it with your foundation and then boom nice healthy glow so even though you have oily skin don't be scared to use um, liquid highlights because it does not make you look oily if you have oily skin obviously you do get oily throughout the day so as long as you do blot throughout the day I can really see it from my rear view in my camera but this is really nice. I'm impressed so far. I'm gonna be using the, hold on, let me get my brush first. I'm actually in my um, my sister's, my little sister's bathroom right now because um, we slept over at my parents. So anyways, I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and this is by far one of my most favorite um, concealer ever. I thought the NARS one was the best already, but that one I felt was a little bit too drying. Um, I really like the coverage of that though, um, but I felt like it was too drying on my skin sometimes around the area. So this one is just like the perfect, it's a lot thinner than the NARS one. So it feels very moisturizing under the eye area. So that's usually the areas where I apply my um, concealer. I'm standing up and it's getting quite hard because as you know, I have less than two weeks left. Anyways, I'm using the Real Techniques Contour Brush to apply my concealer. And this is really easy to blend too, this concealer here. But it does provide really nice coverage. And as you can see, this just instantly brighten up my skin. So I'm going to take that to a foundation brush again and just blend it all out again. So it's, it's seamless, it doesn't look like I have that obvious lighter shade of concealer boom on my face, you know. I'm going to be taking this multitask brush here and I'm going to take the shade plus light uh, contour palette. I'm going to take this one here, the yellow part. Just set my under eye area with that. This one is for a Sonia Castric brush. I don't remember the exact name, but I'm going to take just the lightest shade. Actually, I'm going to take this one here, the center part as well. Or maybe mix a bit with the... Pretty much give myself some color with this. Just so I don't look too pale. Now I'm just going to contour a bit more using the darkest shade right here. And then I'm going to take my MAC 165 brush. I love this brush. Very multi-purpose. So I'm going to take a, the tip of that. I'm just going to contour slightly. Very subtle contour. See, just gives that extra contour but very subtle because I didn't take too much of the product. I'm just gonna apply a bit of highlight I guess. I'm gonna be using my Bobbi Brown obviously Shimmer Brick in Pink Quartz. Can you see that highlight? Oh, so pretty. I think I want to add more. I'm just going crazy with this highlight. Do you see that? That's so beautiful. I am in love. Am I still in focus? Okay. I'm probably just gonna do my brows. I'll do it really quickly. I have a I have a way to do my brows quick now because usually I like to take my time with my brows, but I found a quick way to do them and they still look decent because I'm quite in a rush because my mom's waiting for me downstairs. We're gonna go to my one of my weekly appointments, hopefully my last appointment, um, OBGYN. So take this um, Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown and I'm just gonna line the bottom part. And then I'm gonna take my brush and blend it up. the top it's the 
looks pretty decent, although it took only half the time it usually, it usually takes me to do them. So, I mean, it's not the most perfect, but you know what? When I'm in a rush, get it, dude, you get it, dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a gel, a bit of gel to set it. Okay. Just so it stays in place. I'm gonna take this um, L'Oreal 170 in cotton pink lipstick. It looks like this. This one's just like an everyday lipstick kind of thing. It's very sheer. Okay guys, this is how it looks like. My skin is very nice and glowy. It's not flat. I don't know if you can really tell, but um, I did add a bit of highlight though, but we'll see. Um, you know how the overall looks um, uh, in a few hours. So it's right now 12:06 or 12:07, and I will check back with you guys in a few hours. And this is how it looks. Here, let me zoom you in a bit. It is right now 7.34 according to my my phone is that so I can't really physically show you guys. It's been about 7 hours um, that I have this product on and I can tell you how amazing this is. First of all, the application is absolutely beautiful. Really easy to blend along with the foundation. It didn't create any weird texture mixed with the foundation and I've used this with both high-end and low-end foundation and this time like you have seen I used it with the Maybelline and um, both high-end and low-end foundations worked really well as as far as blending um, this mixing this one with the foundation with the foundation and it didn't create any weird like patchiness or whatever so it was blending out my skin really smoothly and like I said I have normal to oily skin so I do tend to get oily around this area here mostly in this area and it goes down my nose um, but it's not that bad it's not looking too bad right now because it's not it wasn't too warm outside so my skin tend to get a little bit more oily when it's a bit warmer obviously you sweat more um, anyways I want to read you guys a bit about um, like it some details about this product from this for website so it's the candlelight color and it's the only one um, according to this website a waterproof and a 12-hour wear cream and gel hybrid formula can be used to eliminate illuminate and as a skin treatment primer which that sounds good um, and a foundation developer so I do I think I have tried applying this first like like as a primer first before I apply the foundation but I think I like it better when I mix it with the foundation. I feel like that works a lot better. Um, it says that it's, it creates a glowing from within appearance, which I totally agree. It just leaves your skin looking nice and young and glowing from within. Glowing from within. It says never appear shimmery, glitter, glittery, or greasy, so it does not do that. So this shine right here, this is my normal skin that usually really happens after seven, six, seven hours of having um, some sort of product on my skin. Even without product, I do get oily around that area there. It says that this skin enhancer is infused with jojoba and honey, which is probably why it says it can be a skin treatment primer. It has all these good ingredients in it, formulated without parabens, and um, it's free of silicone. So if you don't like that feel of silicone in your skin, then this is the product for that. The size is one fluid, one ounce, and the price is $62. It's, it's a lot of money, yes. Um, is it worth the money? I think it is if you want to sort of um, give yourself a little bit of treat every now and then. But if you do find a cheaper alternative, if I do find a cheaper dupe for this one, then I will definitely probably keep on trying that dupe until I kind of start missing this, you know, but it's a really, really great product. I mean, if you buy it, you'll love it. Uh, for $62, <laughs> just 
I feel like that's a bit too much. Um, I know it's high end, it's camera corn, um, it's a good product, but $62, I feel like it's just a bit too much. Um, I think it would be more reasonable if it's like around $40. I mean, it's still expensive, but maybe for this kind of really like quality that it gives you, maybe around $40 is probably the more reasonable price. Uh, if you want more breakdown review um, on this product, then I will definitely link my website down below, makeupbymissy.com. I hope you guys find this review helpful, and I will see you guys in my next review.